What's up guys, back at it again. This morning, I'm very exciting. Yes, pre-work fishing once again. This time, courtesy of Google Maps, y'all. Found three bodies of water side by side. Never been here before. That's the difference today. Fishing something totally new. I have no idea what I'm walking into. Just checked it out online. So stick with me, guys. We have less than two hours to fish. The goal is to get one bass today. One bass. Sun is barely rising very, very early. We're going to get it in. Stick with me. Let's go. All right, guys, I need to brush up on my Google Maps skills. I already made a wrong turn. Here's lake number one. Looks beautiful. I don't see any grass. You got this pier right here. I don't see any signs that say no fishing. So I think I'm good. Got a fountain right over here. Look at that. Oh man, you know I'll be hitting that. Have another fountain, two more fountains down there. Water looks absolutely wonderful. This lake doesn't even have a name. It's not even on the map. All right guys, I am super excited right now. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's three lakes around here. There's two more that way. I don't even know if I'll get to them. Let's see, let's see how it goes here. What a nice find. Let's just try to find some bass. I'm gonna throw the lipless around, try to cover some water, try to get an idea of how deep this is. I don't see any signs of fishing, no lures, no trash, little neighborhood spot. All right, guys, we're gonna do a quick color change. Let's pop this one off. All right, we're gonna go conventional shad. No bites, not yet. It has to be a bass in here. All right, it'll be tough to land a big bass here, guys. But as always, we'll figure that out later. This this uh, pier is really nice. It sticks out about 200 feet into the lake. Let's see if anything's hanging out in the middle. All right, guys, gonna make another bait change. Bam! New bait. Cover this whole bank in one cast. I'm not bringing up any grass, sticks, nothing, which is excellent. Not picking up any fish either. It's a beautiful morning. Sun's coming up. You can see the sun on the trees over there. Sun's behind me. Absolute beautiful fall morning. Nothing on the square bill. I'm shocked. I don't know if it's shock or disappointment or both. All right, we're going to toss around the trench hog because it's tied on. This will also let me learn what's at the bottom of this lake. All right, guys, it's really tough to believe there's no fish here. So what we're going to do is pull out fish brain. Let's see what's popping. Oh my gosh, there's tons of bass catches around this place. All right, that guy caught a dink. This guy caught, that's a decent looking one right there. All right, so it's me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Using plastic worms, caught that one. That gives a little bit of confidence. I guess the fish are just not biting this morning, but we're gonna stay at it. We need one bass before we go to work. All right, guys, nothing at spot one. That's very disappointing. I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Got a nice fishing pier here. Got a bench. On to the next spot. Three ponds, side by side, Google Maps, unmarked lakes, loving it. Stick with me, let's go. All right, guys, this is actually pretty cool. Just walking along, I was heading to the other side, but I do see a clearing here. I'm actually gonna pitch right here next to the bank, make sure I don't, but there's no fish right here before I spook anything. We were just over there by that dock. One bass, one bass, I got 45 minutes. As you can see, guys, I don't have time to sit in one spot too long. See you at the next spot. All right, one thing I'm learning doing these pre-work fishing challenges is you don't have time to do a lot of bait changes. You definitely need to plan out what you want to throw because you may not change baits. And you know me, I, I like to change baits every two seconds. No bueno. I just bumped up on a sign. This is a public lake, so we can scratch that off the fair list. Again, unmarked. There's no name up for this lake. Whoa, what is moving? Water is moving. I can see to the bottom only about a foot deep right here. Bunch of little things. I don't know what that is. Well, let's toss in there. I'm just gonna swim this bandito bug across the surface, kinda like, oh, until I got hung up. Oh my gosh, come on, say it ain't so. I'm gonna throw my rod down here and then go down there and get it. Oh my gosh, I'm stepping on water. This is not looking good. Oh, there you go. Broke off. That sucks. On that note, we're leaving this spot. Just show you guys around a little bit. This is first I'm seeing this too. Got a little puddle here and a spillway. On the other side of that spillway, another lake. Just rolled up on pond number two. 
whenever rolling up on a new pond, got to figure out where to fish from. So right off the back, I see a fountain right there. Oh, something just moved. You also got a little man-made uh, grass ledge thingamajiggy right there. So we're going to target those two things. Right, we're just straight. Oh, did I really just do that? Did I? Oh, thank you. Got my bait back. Got my bait back. Clutch. All right, we got 30 minutes. Oh, I thought that was a bass. I got excited. I might do one color change on this bait before I put it away. We're not going to get to the third pond today, guys. Sorry about that. It's bait change. All right, guys, I pray my GoPro was working. <laughs> if it wasn't, I'm going to be pissed. I caught this guy using a crankbait, change colors. I'm rushing because I got to get him back in the water. Pre-work fishing, got my bass before work. Within 20 minutes left, got this beauty. Look at that belly. Ah, oh, I hope my GoPro is running. If it wasn't, guys, I am sorry. Change bait colors. I was throwing a craw, changed to the shad, and landed this guy. I've got 20 minutes left, can't be late for work. Man, I pray my GoPro is running. Ah, what is that? Something is feeding right here. Feed on my bait. Hey, I'm an injured shad, hey. All right, guys, what a blast. I really do enjoy this. I really love doing this. Pre-work fishing, the adrenaline is real because you only have, what, an hour or two to fish, so you're cranking, you're moving, you're doing all kind of different things to catch fish. What I also love about this is finding new places on Google Maps, guys. If you're not doing it, start. Get on there, start expanding, looking out, checking out different bodies of water. You can learn a lot about these spots, a lot of hidden gems where people aren't fishing, stuff like that. I will be doing a lot more of this. Smash that like button if you like this. Oh, didn't get to the third lake. We'll get to it next time. I gotta get out of here, man. I'll see you on the next one.